Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in today's tutorial, we learn about Indian classification with rasa and then spacing. So what is rasa? So rasa is a very nice powerful library which is built based on spacey and then scaling as well as several libraries and it's very useful when you're trying to do intent recognition and then entity extraction. So it's very useful when you're trying to do intent classification. So it is a natural language understanding library right okay so what is natural language understanding is a subset of natural language processing so the difference is that natural language understanding is trying to take on structured input convert it to structured form then and be able to, in a format that a computer can be able to understand and then act upon it so it's a subset of nlp so let's see a picture of how it is so this is how it is so it's this is a picture i got from the online which try to explain as well so this is an nlp so nlp is a broad field then you have several fields, text category, using the part of speech, name, entity, recognition, and then NLU is a subset of it. So usually NLU is trying to use name, entity, recognition, part of speech, and then semantic analysis and build on it to be able to help us understand the relationship, the meaning, and then sentiment analysis of it, right? So that is the main idea about it. So let's see how to go about it. So first of all, if you don't have the, the usefulness of, of Entity classification or intent classification rather is to help us be able to do chatbots, right? Tax as well as be able to do intent classification, just as that's the purpose of this library. So, how do you install it? First of all, if you already have installed space, you can just go with pip install rasa and ask NLU, and then you just go with Python M, right? So, you can just go straight away. But sometimes, after doing this, it gives you an error, so you just need to install this pip install sklearn crf suite right that is very important otherwise you may be having issues so you need sklearn you need spacey and then you need rasa right to be able to use it well or if you want to install it together using spacey straight away if you don't have spacey you can just go with pip install rasa perfect and then you download the spacey model english core model right perfect so we'll be using uh, the data set from rasa, rasa themselves and then later on we try and create our own data set and then use it now let's see how to go about it so first of all let's load our package so to load our package we're just going to go with from rasa nlu training we're using their own so training data right that's what we're using we're going to import load data so this is what we're using to load our data set our json data set which is here then from that we're going to go with from rasa NLG. Let me copy and paste so that it comes faster. <laughs> okay, so perfect. So from Rasa, NLG is going to be used to configure our backend, and then we'll be using this to train our data set, and then using this one to configure our space for the current one. Okay, so perfect, perfect. So we are done. Let's load our data set. Now, now let's see how to load our data. So we have our data set which is already here. So let me show you. So cut. Rasa, right? So this is our data set, which is quite plenty, right? It is quite plenty. Several of them. It has been classified based on the entity which we have: grit, we have a uh, grit restaurant, a firm, and several of them. So that is our data that we'll be using. So now let's load our data set. Actually. So to do load our data set, just call it as tree data. Can be anything. Then we are going to use our load data, which we imported from here, to load our data set, which is our JSON format. So it's going to be rasa. Perfect. So now we have already loaded our data set. Now we have to configure our backend to use spacey. The other libraries that you can also use like VT and then several of them, but we'll be using Spacey because that's what we have been working with so far. So that is how to do that. So before we move on, let's configure it and then you learn something different. So it's going to be our trainer. We are going to configure our backend, right? So inside our trainer, so it's going to be trainer, which we have here. Then it takes this argument to config dot load then after that you're going to, you're going to pass in our configuration file which was our yaml so it can be if, if you save it as yaml like this it's going to work well so take some time so as it's taking some time i want, I want to 
explain something so what we are trying to do okay it has already finished so we can move on <laughs> okay perfect so we have already trained our data set so now you try and build a model right you're going to try and build our model but for that you have to train this data so you have created a configuration file we have binded spacey and a circuit link to our trainer and we're going to use it to train our data set then you build a model so how do you do that it's going to be let's call that training data it's going to be our trainer dot train right your train and then we're going to pass in this thing that you load here this thing here right our data set so it takes some time and then train it perfectly for us so that's that's already trained it nicely so fitting two folds for each of the candies and then just train it perfectly for us so what you what we need now is to save, save this model and then use it to run our prediction our classification so it's going to be our model directory you can make it you can call it as anything that you want and then it's going to be our trainer this is just to help us to save it right just like job lib persist and then we just pass it project it can be anything it can be projects can be my projects projects can be any of them let's call it projects okay so it takes some time that's finished training now it has saved it inside a folder called my project which is here and if you open it you're going to see default you're going to see all those things our model that has screen all these things plenty right. okay you see that there is also a pickle file here right perfect Okay, now let's move on. That was six hours ago. Anyway, let's, let's not worry about that. Okay. So how do we actually predict, make predictions? How do we make predictions on it? Let me, let me name this one as this. Okay, perfect. So how do you make our prediction? So it's going to be quite simple. So let's call it as this. We have here. Right. So first of all, to make our prediction, we will just need the interpreter, right? So we just be importing it for the rasa and you use it to make our predictions perfect so before we start i want to show you something so in normal species we, we do something like this right this is how to do extract entity extraction entity extraction so we just go with normal ones we import species then create an NLP object going to be spacey dot load that is for the English version right English model perfect now we have created something like that now if I had a sentence like dogs NLP <laughs> NLP <laughs> okay Unicode this and the extended I had is uh, I am looking for a for an Italian Italian restaurant right restaurant to eat right no where I can eat perfect so I have a sentence like this so the idea behind prediction this prediction this rasa is to be able to extract entities from it and then be able to use it to find the intent so let's see how to do this it's going to be for word in docs dot ends let me add more space right so print first of all we, we can just go with our normal test which is going to be our value this our value is going to be our word dot test right perfect and then you also need to get the the entity itself so it's going to be our entity or the name entity recognition and then go to go with where dot label get this thing here as you said to get a string representation and then there are some other things that is that really are used this which is the which is based on species which is going to be our start word our start character and then our end character and so the start character in species with this is going to be Word dot start car right 
and the same thing can be done for the end which is going to be the same thing so word dot end cap right so if you run to it see that has given us our value which was italian our entity which was norp which is actually a place and then where it started 20th and then where it's ending is 27th so that is the idea behind what rasa is trying to do with our prediction so haven't and having understood it is able to use this one to, to extract the main ideas the main entities in it and then maybe to use to make a prediction so now let's see how to do that so let's load our data from this is going to be our interpreter let's call it interpreter and then we'll be using this here right which we imported then we're going to pass in our model so load our model the model that we saved inside our project this one so we saved inside our project so model directory directory I hope the spelling is correct <laughs> okay so it takes some time to perfect so now it has been able to load it inside this place so we can use it to predict we can use our model to predict or classify an intention so now let's see how to do that so it's going to be quite simple it's going to be interpreter dot pass then from here we're going to pass in our value so let's call it let's use the same value that we had here so oh this is the same thing that we had here right the same thing that we had here i'm looking for an italian restaurant eat and then let's check it so i'm passing it here now you realize that when I pass inside, you almost can get the same entity that you have. Perfect. So now it's actually been able to classify our intention, right? The entity, the classify our intention, which is starting from 20, which we had here as this, 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 this. We had 20 here, so that here is 20. We have 27 here is 27 so that's the main idea behind it and then it was able to find that the value here was our value here was italian and then entity here was norp right the entity here was norp which is here risa has been able to using our our, our training data set that we provided we able to uh, merge the norp which was an entity and classified under a cuisine under a restaurant so that's why it's given us a the name is restaurant search which is given as a confidence of 0.745 which is very high so inside our data set we had several classes several categories so we had a fame we had great we had goodbye so to compare all of them with their confidence and then realize that these are very, having a very low accuracy so they are not the best so the one that is having the best highest accuracy confidence is 0.7 which belongs to the restaurant search so with this we're able to classify our intention right we need to do intent classification which is quite interesting now let's try one last example so we'll use the same thing that we had here it's we're using I want I'm looking for, I'm looking for let's say I want an African sport African sport to it's right something simple it's going to predict that it is still a restaurant search with a confidence of 0.6 although african sports doesn't talk about sports that is able to identify that sports is talking about restaurants we can also try our last one something different which is not restaurant we can use something like this which we're going to say not something different like mm, okay good morning all right something like this so it's able to still find that this good morning is a greeting which is quite interesting so thank you for watching if you have any question or contribution can just put inside the comment section so everybody can benefit if you don't forget to subscribe stay blessed